Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another video. Welcome to an unedited minimal cuts video. This is gonna be just like a morning in my life vlog. Today is Thursday. It's it's actually the day before that you guys are watching this, but I have like a couple things I just need to talk to you guys about. So stay tuned. I don't usually do this, but actually I feel like I do do this. I do like unedited videos, maybe like once a month, but the last time I did one was I believe in September when I got COVID. So it has been a while since I've done unedited minimal cuts video and I love these so much. It's also 6.30 so like I'm just now speaking for the first time but I love these videos just because you guys know I love editing. I'm sure you guys have heard this spiel if you're new or if you're not new but I love the editing process of making videos. I think it's so fun. It's where I'm able to like creatively be myself and just kind of like escape and do something fun with the video but I still try to make them very realistic and editing is just so fun. So I decided to do just kind of like a minimal cuts, um, unedited video every now and then so that you guys can kind of see me how I am real time without any like edits and music and text and stuff. So these are pretty just, I just stumble over my words all the time. And especially when I do film these unedited videos, I'm like nervous about what I'm gonna say just cause I don't wanna stumble over my words. But yeah, welcome to the video. I had another video that I had planned for tomorrow, but I ended up just kind of like resting this week and like working and just kind of chilling besides the video that I posted on Tuesday. So I've just been kind of behind with editing and instead of like beating myself up over it and staying up until like 3 a.m. finishing my work week vlog from last week, we're gonna do an unedited video because I, like I said, I have a couple things I need to talk to you guys about and just kind of like things I need to catch you guys up on anyways. My last video that I posted was my monthly get ready with me and we were in this bathroom getting ready for bed, doing our skincare. And you guys had like some really nice feedback just telling me that you love watching these more like sit down chatty videos because you're like hanging out with a friend. And that's exactly what these videos are. These are like the unedited. I'm literally gonna try my best to not cut anything out unless there's like dead space where I'm not speaking or anything. So welcome back. It is 6.30 right now. I'm actually going to Orange Theory this morning instead of Solid Core. And that's one of the things I need to talk to you guys about but I need to get ready first because I need to like get there early. So let me just wash up, change, and then I'll probably come back right here and talk to you guys because Thomas is still sleeping. So let me just get ready and we'll talk. But good morning. I'm using Sensodyne and I'm like almost out. So that's good. Who? Okay, Sensodyne is small, but who does this when they use their toothpaste? And then who does like this? Because Thomas does this, but I usually just squeeze it because I'm crazy. Yeah. Okay. Good morning again. We're back in my bathroom. I hope you guys understand that like, now that I live with Thomas, I like have to film a lot of these morning clips if he's sleeping in the bathroom. Wait, am I like, hold on. Okay, since I have a different tripod, it like gets uneven sometimes. But okay, here's my workout outfit. I'm wearing like this Gymshark set. This is the Vital Seamless. Uh, this is technically Vital Seamless 1.0, but this is just Vital. I, I think it's like the best um, set from Gymshark, not set, collection. This and the Adapt camo is like literally the only things I will buy from Gymshark when it comes to leggings. I just think they're so good. And this is like a really pretty color. My old roommate actually got this for me as a gift. She like surprised me with this one day, like a year or two ago, two years ago. So that's what I'm wearing. And then this is the just like normal sports bra. This one was like the $25 one. I really like it. This is like a nice green color. And then I'm gonna put my Amazon quarter zip or full zip on top. This is like the Lululemon dupe, but I mean, it's not really a dupe. It's just like a regular full zip. And I really like it because it's short. So I think it kind of like accentuates your curves, but it was really cheap. And this is how it looks. You guys have seen this like a million times, but um, what was something that I was gonna talk to you guys about? 
I forget even like what I said already in the last clip, but I'm gonna go to Orange Theory. That's what I have to talk to you guys about. I actually am gonna be like a minute late, so I will give you like the whole spiel after, but I bet you guys are like, why aren't you doing solid core? Well, I had to pause my solid core membership because I'm actually gonna be home for the next like a little over two weeks starting tonight because I'm gonna dog sit my dog Timmy and he's just really old, you guys, so he just like should be home instead of him being here. So it's just easier to walk him that way. So I'm gonna go home tonight. So the next couple vlogs that you guys will see are going to be probably from like my home home in Maryland. And I think it'll be really fun just to like switch up the environment. Um, I also have like some sponsored videos in November that I've lined up because October was like basically no sponsorships at all. So I just wanna make sure that like I'm letting you guys know too that like you will see more sponsored content in November for me, but December will likely be like a free month for you guys. So I hope you guys understand I'm not like a full-time creator, but when I do have opportunities, I think they're awesome. And like if they're brands that I love, I will absolutely go for them. So since this is just like my side thing, I don't mind when I don't have sponsorships like for that month. So I didn't have any in October. I think I didn't have any in like July or August so it happens every now and then that's just like the waves of being a, a creator on YouTube with less than 50,000 so yeah well and also because it work full-time job so I don't do a lot of brand outreach so yeah you guys will see sponsorships in November and so I'll be home and yeah just I want to let you guys know that like you can expect that so there's that and then since I'm going to be home I like there's no solid core near my house and I don't want to pay for like basically eight classes to use up in the last like seven or eight days of the month so I ended up freezing my membership and then I have December back on my membership with solid core and then I'm gonna see how this orange theory class goes but I'm kind of thinking about going to orange theory and I need to just like explain that but if I do that anyways it would be in like January so that's what's going on right now. I will explain the Orange Theory thing more and then I have a question for you guys after that I will talk to you guys about when I'm doing my protein shake as you guys know but I'm also really no like no not nervous. I'm excited to go to Orange Theory because it's a little bit closer than the solid core so I don't have to like rush to the place. So okay I'm gonna go. I'm really excited so I will see you guys later but I love morning workouts. I also had solid core yesterday and I'm like so sore so i don't know how this is gonna go we'll see but yeah okay i'll see you guys later <laughs> thomas let me see your outfit guys i got this for thomas for his 21st birthday well, thomas I'm your hair is so long it's so long i actually don't like it like the way it looks this morning you're drinking coconut water okay bye okay guys I need to just explain. Okay, this is all unedited, so I just need to like do my best here. But I need to explain what the heck is going on with my fitness routine. Okay, so let me get my shaker bottle. I'm just going back and forth, but I usually cut like all of this out because like you guys can't see me half the time anyways. But okay, actually, let me get water. Let me get water. Okay, I had to cut that out because it was a dead silence, but I'm back. Let me explain what's going on with my fitness routine. So you guys know, first of all, we're gonna back this up like all year and like multiple years. Back in 2019, when I first moved to Arlington, I'm gonna make this as quick as possible, but I used to do Orange Theory when I lived in, like right after college, when I moved here, started work and everything. I got Orange Theory because I was like, I'm a corporate girl, I can afford this and I loved it. But I was not in my best shape in 2019. I, like I said, was like, binge drinking all the time. I was like newly post-grad, so I was working, not eating well at all, and just drinking heavily multiple times a week. And that was in 2019, like pre-pandemic. So I was going to Orange Theory Unlimited and I loved it, like I was obsessed with it, but since I wasn't eating right and like not in the right mental state before, um, I didn't really see any results. So that happened, I did Orange Theory and then the pandemic started and I had to cancel obviously because the pandemic started and we were home for like multiple months. So during that time was when I, wow, I've never said like my whole weight loss journey, but during that time that I was home 
and basically for all of 2020 and like 2021 maybe like the first couple months of 2021 i was on a like streak of i'm gonna lose weight um just to feel more confident in my body and what i looked like and eating well i tried intermittent fasting and that worked really well i was doing all at-home workouts on like youtube workouts rachel's good eats workouts that were just like follow along um caroline gervin workouts on youtube and so i did all of that for a long time and i actually lost like i think the most weight that i had lost was like 17 pounds and when I was at my lowest, I like had gotten to the point where I was like, okay, I lost all this weight and I feel really good about myself and like my fitness and my body. But I was getting to the point where I was taking pictures and I was like, do I look like a little too small in this? So once that realization happened, that was in like 2021, maybe the beginning of 2021, I had lost all the weight and stuff. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna start weightlifting and I had started my YouTube channel. Like that was kind of my last push to start my YouTube channel, feeling confident in how I looked. Because when you, I mean, when you edit videos, like you have to stare at yourself moving around. It's like not like photos. So started my YouTube channel once I was like in a really confident place because of a lot of things, but one of them being my weight loss journey. And then 2021 was when I started weightlifting, which you guys saw. And that was me doing the Alive workouts. Um, like more YouTube workouts, more Instagram workouts and stuff. And then fast forward to like a couple months ago, summer started and I was like, I just need to take a break with weightlifting. And I started going on long, long walks because I was like not in a good place mentally and long walks was just like therapy to me. So I would walk for like two hours every day. And that was like my form of exercise in the summer because we were outside all the time and it was just really nice. And so I kind of stopped lifting and I needed a break from the gym anyways, just cause I was like going crazy. And then fast forward to now, long walks have ended because it's getting a little cold out and I started solid core. So I started solid core with like the hope to be like low impact, low impact. Like I loved walking so much and I felt like I had maintained my fitness or at least like my physique while I was walking. But then I don't know what, honestly, I don't know what happened. Like I feel like in the last like maybe two or three months I've kind of I feel like I've like gained weight that I wasn't intentionally trying to, that I didn't necessarily want to. So I'm trying to make some efforts to just lose like a little bit of weight, just try to be more conscious about like the portions that I'm consuming and eating more protein. But like you guys saw, like with the nourish bowls, I'm trying to like actually eat more whole foods and just do my best to do little strides here and there to lose like a little bit of weight. And I like feel weird saying that. And I hope that you guys understand. I'm like really trying to come, trying to come from like as healthy of a place as possible when I put this out there, because there's a reason why I didn't want to talk about my weight loss journey all this time. It was because I was not happy with where I am in like my fitness journey. So whatever, long story short, that's what happened. Solid core is so expensive though. I've been doing it consecutively for maybe around like six weeks now. I feel like I've seen, I've felt changes in how I feel like I'm sore all the time. So that's good. How my body looks, I don't really think has changed that much. Like I still like just am not 100% satisfied with like my photos and my videos and how I look and stuff. And um, so I don't really know, maybe it's like too soon to tell, like I said, but I'm gonna be home. Like I told you before Orange Theory, for the next couple of weeks taking care of my dog and there's no solid core there so i decided to freeze my membership at solid core which is only like 20 dollars. and i think what i'm gonna do since since i went to orange theory this morning this was just kind of like a first free class for returners that like potentially might get a membership so i was like okay well my solid core just froze as of today i want to work out so i might as well go to this free orange theory and go for the first time again and i've learned so much about like eating and working out since i went to orange theory three years ago and so today at orange theory i started on the rower so i did cardio weights and then ended on the treadmill whereas before i used to start on the treadmill exert all my energy and then just kind of like half like half do the rest so that was really good this time like i feel literally on top of the moon and i feel like as much as i loved the low impact stuff with working out like as much as i really do love solid core i like am obsessed with it with how it makes me feel and stuff i feel like at heart i am like a cardio person like i love running and i loved lifting i did it for so long they're actually running a promotion right now 
where if you purchase a membership in November, you get December for free. Like you pay $0 in December and then you start back up your regular membership in January. And since I froze SolidCore in November, I'm only paying $20 for SolidCore in November. The premiere or like unlimited Orange Theory membership is around $180. It's $179. So like $179 plus $20 is literally like still less than one full eight class month of SolidCore. I think in the end, SolidCore, Thomas was bringing this up earlier this week. Like I think SolidCore is just a little too expensive for it to not be like an unlimited thing. So I think what I'm going to do, and you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I like, I'm just committed to figuring out what routine works best to get like my physical, my physical and fitness goals, like where I want them to be. Cause I feel like sometimes they can be unaligned. My fitness goals I feel like are good, but my physical goals, like how I, how I feel when I look at myself is not aligned with that. So I'm trying to figure out like what will work best. And since this is still technically cost saving, if I do this, <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm going to get Orange Theory again. I've done Solid Core. Like I, I'm still gonna do it for December because there's a 30 day, um, there's a 30 day notice for canceling. So I feel like I'm not making any sense, but I hope you guys can follow. Solid Core, November $30, $20 to freeze. December, I'll pay the full price because I have to give a 30 day notice, do eight classes in December, and then I'll be done with solid core. And at that point I will have done it for like around two and a half months. That was like my commitment I wanted to do anyways. That will be the end of solid core. November now, I'm gonna get Orange Theory again. I just loved it. I just need it back. Premier membership I'm gonna get at Orange Theory. I can go to any other studio in the country, which is really good too, because at solid core you can only do that with unlimited and that's like way too expensive. So I'm gonna do Orange Theory because I can go when I'm home. So I'm gonna pay for November of Orange Theory, which is $179, pay $0 in December. So in December, I'm only paying for one thing. And then in January, I'm only paying for Orange Theory. So I hope that makes sense. I'm never like, I'm overlapping only in November, but it's like $20 of freezing solid core, $180 for Orange Theory, and then December, I'll be paying $250 for solid core. It's just too expensive. At least so like, it's too expensive to still have to go to the gym, you know? So December, I'll pay $250 for solid core, $0 for Orange Theory because of the promotion. And then in January, I will only be paying $179 for Orange Theory. That's that. Does that make sense? <laughs> I tried my best to make that all in one sprint and I hope you guys understand, but that's just where I'm at with my fitness journey. Like I just, I'm trying to find what works and what makes me feel the best. Sodcore is awesome. I just wish I could like pay for the unlimited and not have it be like 300 something dollars. So 250 for eight classes was really good. It doesn't roll over, which I don't like, which is why I had to freeze this month because there's no solid core near my house. And yeah, Orange Theory, I'm back. <laughs> Okay, well, I still have like the video thing I need to talk to you guys about. So I'm gonna take a shower. About to sign on to work soon. It's like 8.40, so I need to take like a really quick shower and talk to you guys before I start work. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I've never actually given a, like a whole timeline of my fitness journey, my weight loss journey. And hopefully I'm now in a better place to talk about it. I mean, I have to have been if I just said all this, but. So yeah, okay, please don't judge me. I'm gonna take a shower. Okay guys, I need to sign on to work. Wait, am I in frame? I always have to check, like am I in frame? <laughs> but I need to sign on to work soon, so I have to end this vlog. But I have a question for you guys. So if you made it to the very end, I have a question and I need you to comment and tell me what I should do because I'm actually like genuinely unsure. So tomorrow's video was supposed to be a work week in my life vlog and I have it all filmed, but I was editing it this week and honestly, it was last week that I edited or not edited. It was last week that I filmed and it was a whole work week vlog. It was deadline week. And so you guys know how those go. Like I'm just, anyone can relate to this, right? That has like big report or like big deadlines. It is very stressful leading up like days leading up to that deadline day. And you're not usually your best self, I think. And you kind of just have to like power through at least that's just what I've experienced in my time working. Well, I've been working for three years now, so take that as you will. But I filmed this whole work week vlog. It was a deadline week and 
Um, I feel like my, my clips weren't as, I think, not aesthetic, but they just didn't tell the story as well as I wanted to because even though I have work week vlogs, I like to tell a story of like a day ending and starting and just kind of like seamlessly transitioning through each day. And I feel like a lot of what I did last week was a lot of like me venting to you guys and like me showing you working and me showing you eating. But like, I feel like I was just in this apartment the whole time during that work week vlog. I had like one day where I went into the office, which was good, but more or less, it's definitely not on the most um, motivating or like positive side of myself. I feel like, yeah. So yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. So I'm a little unsure if I should post it anymore. I've gone through the rough cut and it's just kind of like, you know, I got through the end of the week. I turned in the deadline and I was so happy, but like, I feel like you guys can probably tell if you watch it that like, I was so drained by the end of the week that I just like turned off the video. I was like, I'm done. Have a good weekend. Bye. So I feel like you guys can relate to this in terms of like feeling tired at the end of the week. And I forget if I like talked about, sorry, I just stumbled over my words, but feeling tired at the end of the week, especially on deadline weeks, like maybe not having your best days leading up to that deadline, but just that sigh of like relief and just kind of knowing that it ended. That's the story that I love to tell no matter what, like your day will always end and whatever you're going through will always end and you always have the next day and you can always start the next day in a better note. So let me know that it's definitely a more like not the good real side of life, but just, you know, not always the best real side of life that I feel like that video shows. So I'm a little unsure if I should post it just because I don't want it to come off the wrong way and I don't want it to be perceived poorly. So if, if I do post it, I feel like I will edit it a little bit less, just kind of make it less like aesthetically pleasing and a little less like beautiful, you know, for like aesthetic clips and B-roll and the transitions and stuff, just because I don't want to glamorize something that brought me stress, you know? I, I feel like that's when you kind of go into the, is this actually being like an accurate representation of this person's life, which I try to show as accurate as possible, while still making it like really fun for me to edit and really fun for me to look at and watch and for you guys to watch. So comment below, let me know if you think I should post it or not because I will. If you think that you want to watch it, if you want to just like relate to those bad days um, or stressful days or deadline days, just let me know or I might just scrap it. So <laughs> I don't know, let me know. Um, yeah, that's the video. I need to sign on to work soon. It's literally like 8.50. So one last thing I want to show you guys. I talked about this in my last video in my growing and getting ready skincare video that I posted on Tuesday. It's here, you guys. And I need to show you because it is just literally the most beautiful thing I have ever owned in my life. And just knowing that I'm supporting Amanda Rachley. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my last growing and getting ready video. But this is like the perfect baby of a planner and a bullet journal. And all of these designs were created by Amanda Rach Lee, who is a creator here on YouTube. She's an influencer. She's a small business owner. She's um, a person of color. She's Asian. And she literally has this small business where she digitized all of her hand-drawn um, themes that she does for her, her own bullet journal. So I'm trying to show you guys, like, here's what February looks like. And the point is that you're supposed to color it in, but then you have, like, a couple, you have, like, a monthly oh my god sorry i can't speak you have like a monthly layout and then you have like some dot grid pages and then you have just a regular planner um what that is freaking awesome and it's all through every single month of 2023 but then there's a couple of bullet journal and like dot grid pages in the beginning of the notebook for you to write your own spreads and i feel like this is exactly what i needed this year like i needed a bullet journal because I love it. Like I love making spreads of my own, but I made like yearly spreads this year. And then I just couldn't keep up with like the day to day themes, making themes each month and weekly layouts and stuff. So I'm actually like elated you guys i'm so happy that i decided to do this this year because first of all it's beautiful but it's a coloring book it's a planner it's a bullet journal like literally all in one there's habit and mood trackers too so each month is different based off of the theme but like you guys this is gonna make 2023 like my best year i swear to god so 
I'm so excited. I am going to link this below for you guys. They still have them in stock and there's still a lot of time just because like I said, this does start in January, but if you want to make your own spreads at the end of the year, then get it now while you can. It's just, it is like very high quality too. This is the matcha grid. There's a latte grid. There is a blue swirl, a lavender swirl, and then a rich solid espresso chocolate brown color. And then the gold foiling is each theme of the month oh, you guys this is this is so pretty oh my god god i'm so excited so that's the last thing i had to show you guys i just had to show you in real life and or like in real time i am gonna color it with you guys every month like i'm so excited i'm gonna make my yearly spreads with you guys and i just can't wait to like bring bullet journaling back into my life i really want next year like i'm gonna try to end the year like as best i can in terms of preparing for 2023 but i really want next year to be me embracing my best life again like i want to go back into being a morning person i want to go to sleep at 9 30 which i'm trying to do very well as of now i want to like be back on a really healthy place with like my health and fitness like i talked about earlier um i want to feel like fully just embracing an entire calendar year living with thomas and just kind of going through life, but like focusing on what will bring me my best self because this year I focused a lot on others because I just went through this whole like transitional change of having a lot of friends kind of be in different places now and whether that's physically, emotionally, mentally, um, just in their life. So I feel like I focused a lot on others this year, which I love. I will always do that. I love everyone and I love a lot of people, including you guys. But next year, I want it to be like my year. I want it to be me focusing on me and like just taking care of, actually taking care of myself in the way that I want to so that I don't have to be that stressed and I can like love myself. And yeah, I don't need to go on that whole spiel. You guys know what I mean. But this is going to aid me. So I'm really excited. And you guys should get one if you're interested. If you like bullet journaling, there's literally like two or three pages every month for you to bullet journal in for you to like experiment. But it's just a coloring book and a planner. And you're supporting a small business owner who literally like made these. She hand drawn, hand drew these herself. So you guys should seriously freaking get one. And then we can do it together. And then we can share our spreads and our, the way that we color it together. Shouldn't we do that? <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna end off this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unedited morning in my life vlog. I'm gonna sign on to work and I'm gonna film a whole work from home day in my life tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed like these life updates with like my health and fitness, my YouTube, my like sponsorships and just life and everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, I guess that's it. I'm in a really good mood. It's the endorphins from Orange Theory. <laughs> Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good weekend if you guys are watching on the day premiere. I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, miss you already.